time has come. For 300 years, we prepared, we grew stronger. While you rested in your cradle of power. So things continue to get worse for Batwoman. I do enjoy doing these videos because it's like we can just see every week how the ratings drop for both Batwoman and Supergirl. But let's be fair, Supergirl is in nowhere near as bad a shape as Batwoman. This show is just crashing and burning, and I find it absolutely hilarious because this show was ran on Woke. It's like they literally, you know, what are we going to put in this engine to make it run? I got it. Let's get a little of that Woke 93 and put that in there. That that will possibly propel it to the top of the ratings. It's going to be a huge hit. Everyone's going to love it. I can't wait to see what happens. And it crashed and burned. <laughs> As is the story with everything like this. And I always talk about this, and I'm going to talk about it again. It had one of the stupidest storylines I've ever, I've ever heard of. Uh, where Batwoman decided... So here's the premise. Basically, uh, the Gotham tabloids were like, is Batwoman got a crush on this male officer? Oh my goodness, TMZ Gotham. And she's like, listen, I can't have this. Listen, Super Supergirl, you're a reporter. I want to give you an interview as Batwoman and tell the whole world that I like chicks. And that was the premise of the entire episode. Batwoman coming out to Gotham. Oh, wait, what's this? Her secret identity already had an episode around that? Well, what? how can we do it again? Let's do it again, everybody. We'll have two episodes. Now the costume vigilante needs to come out. Uh, you're supposed to be mysterious if you're a vigilante, but, you know, I, I guess, you know, we throw things... We throw things to the side in the Batwoman universe because woke first. So happily, this show is just crashing. And what's even great, what's even greater about this, what makes this even better, is there's going to be a season two. They've already renewed it. Like, hell, how low can we go? We want to be the first network to see just how, just how bottom of the barrel ratings can go. Maybe we get... Our goal is to have two people watching at the end of the day. So I find this really funny. So Batwoman suffers lowest ratings to date as things continue on the downhill trend as Batwoman now suffers its worst ratings to date with the latest episode. Sunday's episode, Grinning from Ear to Ear, saw only 774,000 viewers tune in, which is less than the previous low which, of course, is how Q everything is. That episode saw 180 viewers tune in. So that's, of course, the famous episode where Batwoman needed to come out and give a tabloid interview to tell everybody that she digs chicks because that's what people want to watch in a bat show. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the character under the mask wanting to do these things. That's the, that's the, the, the secret identity, whatever. No one could give a damn about the costume vigilante's preferences. It's a stupid plot, and it was really... I think I think a lot of people tuned out and were just like, I'm good. This is just a little too much for me. Everyone's ragging on this show because the show is complete cringe. And it's just funny. I, I can't wait. Imagine... So it keeps getting lower. Imagine how bad season two is going to be. Now, what would be really funny is if they ended up canceling it. Like, yeah, we're not going to film it. It's going to go straight to DVD or something. Or no, it would go straight to streaming now nowadays, right? But uh, it's already so bad, and they've already went ahead and jumped the gun and greenlit season two. I mean, I bet you there's only going to be – when we get to season two, I wouldn't be shocked if this show dwindles down to like 400,000 people an episode. That is an absolute failure. What a champion this show is for Get Woke, Go Broke. It really is. So the series started off with a high of near 2 million viewers, but has lost over a million viewers in 14 episodes, with things especially crashing following the Crisis on Infinite Earths event crossover as the series hasn't seen a million viewers since December 9th. While things have been 
bleak for the series. Earlier in the year, it did see the CW renew the show for season two. So for now, it isn't going anywhere. Now, I'd like to talk about this Crisis on Infinite Earths thing here. So this is an event. Just like in comic books, you have an event since there's a whole bunch of CW shows. You know, you have like Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, Batwoman. Uh, What they do is they have all the characters come together for an event. Now, what's really interesting about this is this exposed a lot of people to Batwoman. If you weren't watching Batwoman, you were pretty familiar with her by the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, People disliked her so much from the event. People that were watching the show before didn't come back, and it didn't get anybody to come over from Crisis on Infinite Earths. So the character got exposed to all kinds of new people, and people disliked her so much, not not one person, well, maybe a couple, and a couple dipped out, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple in there, but uh, <laughs> no one came to watch the show. People liked her even less after getting more exposure. So more people saw the show, and people liked her even less. So it is kind of funny, if you think about it. Supergirl's having a uh, similar rating suffer. Suffering regarding Sunday's episode of Supergirl, things seem to be pretty steady as it saw 676k viewers tune in, which, while low, has been pretty much the norm for the series for the past few episodes. But similar to Batwoman, Supergirl's viewership also plummeted following Crisis on Infinite Earths and from the season premiere. Batwoman and Supergirl join a long list of failures coming out of Hollywood that promote the anti dude feminist woke agenda. And the latest beings DC's Birds of Prey, BBC's Doctors Who, Charlie's Angel, Terminator Dark Fate, Disney Star Wars, Captain Marvel, and Ghostbusters 2016. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> you know what I wonder? Why does every female, why does everything focused on women has to have the stupid woke stuff? Why can't they just do a normal show for women? This is this has got to irritate women. It's just like the the captain or the the Brie Larson Nissan commercial. They have to they have to push it as this woke empowerment thing. Why can't you just do a commercial with her like, you know, running to get the kids or you know, just driving to work and maybe something happens? You know, a, a normal scenario. She could still have you can still gear it towards the war, the working woman. But how about, you know, maybe just making it normal like you do for men? You know, they do female shows like Supergirl and Batwoman and then Captain Marvel, you know, and and Birds of Prey. Doctor Who is arguably a female show now. You know, why can't they just do normal programming, do some marketing, find out what women really want and make that entertainment for them? Why do they have to do it in this woke fashion? Because it doesn't seem to be working. Women don't seem to want to watch this shit and they just keep making it. Like, why don't you make real programming for women? Do you think they want to sit there and be, like, preached at all day long? They don't want that as much as men don't want to be lectured. So I just, I don't understand it. Like, this is obviously not the kind of entertainment women want. So why don't you give them entertainment that they do want? This is what blows my mind. And and women, I don't even know if they say much. Maybe they just don't care. They just go back to reading books. (laughs) They go back to reading their books. They don't give a damn about this, I guess. I don't know. You know, women do love reading. They do love reading. It's a funny article called that uh, a way to escape the patriarchy, which I thought was really funny. But yeah, this is just crazy to me. Give women real entertainment. They don't want this shit. They want they want normal, fun entertainment just like anybody else. They don't want this garbage. They don't want this garbage. And they show it week after week as they tune out on your crap. So anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. If you're a woman, uh, what kind of show would you want to see? You know, tell me what your dream entertainment show is, because this this stuff obviously isn't it. So I, I would like to hear from you, especially. Also, share the video if you would. Throw a like up if you would. Also, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. 
Uh, there's something going on right now and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new. The line must be drawn here. Hello there. <laughs>